Having issues with your Toast handheld? Before contacting customer care, try these quick troubleshooting steps first. Always start by making sure your Toast handheld has been charged for at least 30 minutes using a known working power outlet. You will know the device is charging when the LED light on the top right is illuminated amber. If this light does not turn on, you should try another working outlet or known working cable. Remember, this device can be charged using the magnetic charging port on the bottom of the device or a USB-C charging port located on the side. Next, let's restart your device. Hold down the orange power button on the right-hand side and select Restart. Still having issues? Let's refresh your Toast app. Select the three dots in the upper right-hand corner of the login screen, then select Log Out. Swipe up to reveal the Home button, then select Settings and Tools, Device Settings, Apps, Toast POS, and Force Stop. If your device is not responding to this, try performing a hard reboot by holding down the Volume Up button and Power button at the same time. You can release these when the Toast logo appears. Next, let's verify your device's internet connection. Swipe down from the top of the screen and select Internet. Here you should see that your 4G cellular connection and your Wi-Fi connection are both toggled on. However, if your handheld is Wi-Fi only, you will only see the Wi-Fi connection here. Both 4G and Wi-Fi need to be turned on so that your handheld can utilize the cellular connection and cloud printing if Wi-Fi connection is weak or not present. If you are on site at your restaurant or have a handheld that only carries a Wi-Fi connection, make sure that you are connected to your Toast Wi-Fi network by selecting this network and looking for the word connected. If you can't remember your Wi-Fi network or password, log on to Toast Web and navigate to Toast Account Wi-Fi Configuration. If you notice that your cellular connection strength is interrupting service, you can always try toggling it on and off to regain the strongest connection. Still noticing a weak cellular connection? You can try forgetting the mobile network by navigating to Settings and Tools, Device Settings, System, Reset Options, Reset Mobile Network Settings, Reset Settings, and then select Reset Settings again. If your handheld is having payment issues, let's check your card reader settings. To start, select Go to POS and log back in if needed. You'll need your email and password again. From the key screen, you'll see a button that says Card Reader. Select this to wake up your card reader, then key in. Select the back arrow to navigate to Device Setup, then scroll down to Payment Processing. This is where you'll see if EMV is enabled. This should be set to Yes if you're using DIP or TAP payments, and No if you're taking swipe payments. To change this, select EMV Enabled. To further troubleshoot payment issues, you can use the Card Reader Test app directly from your handheld. Navigate to Setting and Tools and select Card Reader Test App. If any of these tests fail, this means your card reader is malfunctioning and you may need a replacement device. We really hope this helped, but if you're still having issues with any of the topics mentioned above, contact our customer care team for additional support. You got this.